right, welcome back. And now here's the cover. And I'm going to glue it on to the front. And then we're going to see what the inside looks like and how it was all put together. But first, we've got to put these beautiful pieces on here. And the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, ink the edges. the leftover pieces that I used on the inside pages. Try to use up my stash and I don't want to keep all these scraps pieces around so why not use them up in the project. come in with our tacky glue I'm going to have the brush ready just get glue all the way to the edges so I'm just really concentrating on the edges I'm going to glue cardstock to cardstock. I decided I needed to have be a little bit more reinforcement, and I know this tacky glue will not let me down. It will not come off of there. are very ambidextrous. Did you ever notice that? <laughs> very ambidextrous. Okay. This piece could not have lined up more perfectly if I would have tried. Same thing with this piece, trying not to spill glue all over my table. It's like the volcanic glue bottle. It definitely likes to ooze out of there and explode all over my project. Not to get this on me as much as I want it to be on the card. I have to go wash my hands here in a moment. Get all this lovely glue off.
All right. <clears throat> Sure, this is really pressed down good. Don't want that to go anywhere. Now, isn't that gold metallic the perfect accent for this? And then inking it up the edges and this beautiful paper of Anna Griffins is just like absolutely gorgeous. So let me just spray my hands. Then I don't have to go anywhere. I can just stay right here. Keep going. Keep going. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is this piece. I'm going to go here. I'm going to glue each one of these down. And again, hopefully, without it erupting all over my, all over the place. Let's see if I can just go straight down here. A little tiny bit. Use a little, little brush. Just smooth that out because I don't want it oozing through. Okay, and then this is going to go out. It's down a little bit this way. Come on, there you go. <laughs> so what I like about this glue also is you have a little bit of time for movement, placement, where you want it to be, okay? Good, 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 good. Okay, now we're going to come in with the bottom piece, which was this one. This one was not it. Now the cap is sticking to my finger because there's so much glue that has oozed out. Oh, my word. Uh, it's never a dull moment in the craft room, is it? Mm -mm. Comical, comical, comical. We have to keep a sense of humor in the craft room. I mean, you know, there is no room for getting upset. It's always got to be humor. Okay, now this piece is going to go this direction. We're going to place it right over here, right up against there. Okay. Take this piece. seem to be using a lot more paper towels, but look at that. I still have a lot to go. I still have a lot on that roll. Okay, now last but not least, we're going to put on this. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold the apple cart. That's what this was. Okay, so this piece goes here. But this one goes down first, and then this one goes on top. See, I decided to put that one across in the middle had to have something there and this seemed to just be the exact perfect beautiful piece and it's my project and I can do whatever I want to do with it so that's what I'm going to do and so don't don't hold it over that all I need is that to go and spill Okay, that, that might cause me to be upset. <laughs> okay, all right, do I want it this way or this way? I think this way. Yeah, I had it this way. All right, so I'm just putting it right there between the two pieces, coming over here to the edge. And then we're going to press that down, wipe up off the excess. Okay, wipe up the excess. Now, the 
lay you down for just a second because you're going to get all messy all over the place again. Quick like a bunny, turn this over and go down here. Tap back on. Okay. Hold it over here so I don't get it on my project. There may be some glue that oozes out on the other side, but we'll take care of it in a minute. Okay. Now, lining it up with this end and lining it up with this end. And trying to get it to where we can see perfectly where we want it where it needs to be. Okay, hold this one here, and this one needs to slide there. Brush can go back into the water. Wipe up any excess here. Mopping, mopping, mopping up the glue. Wipe up any here. Okay. Oh, just Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Just gorgeous. Okay. Oops. Sorry for the noise. Gotta clean my hands again. What I really need is a little tiny sink in my office. <laughs> Oh, I can just see my husband's face now when I tell him that. Oh, honey, can you put a little sink in my office? Sure, babe. Let me just tie into the sink from the bathroom there. Not a bad idea, but I can walk the few steps into the bathroom just around the corner. See, there's a little bit of glue got there. I don't ask me how that happened. But I just saw it, so that's good. All right, and a little bit here needs to be smoothed out. A little bit there. Okay. Looking good, looking good. All right, all right. I'm going to keep this one handy. Now, this beautiful... Now, on the back of it, it says Oriental Poppy. But I'm not sure if it was like a whole page and then maybe whatever else was on the page because this does not look like an Oriental Poppy to me. It looks like a rose. So I'm going to go with it that it's a rose. <laughs> a wild rose. Okay, so then I have this in mind and I'm thinking it's either going to be down here or I was going to center it, but I'm thinking like coming from here or just going up here and being raised here. Cover this corner here, I'm not sure. Or do I want it right there in the center? And then somehow I'm thinking, I don't know, but there was just like, did it need... You know, there was, I don't know, I'm just, it's just, what is, you know, what's thinking, you know how it is. You come in here, you start thinking about what else, what else, what else. Okay, so then this little piece of organza, but then that would have been, I should have sewn that onto the card. But that's, that would be pretty. So I think I'm just going to stick with this. Let me get the organza over here. Yeah, because I'm going to raise that up. I'm going to use the dimensional tape. I've already laminated the top of this, so you can't... Uh, I don't think you can ink on that. Let me see. But where, whether it will stay or not, that's a different story. So it might go on it now. I'll go ahead and ink it. All right. 
It's getting a little warm here. We're in Florida. I think tomorrow we're supposed to be in the 60s. Today we're almost 90, so you know. What it is, it's what it is. I'm sure you're having the same thing this year. So right now it's March 31st, 2021, when I recorded this. But whatever day you watch it may be different. Whatever year you watch it. I like that our videos are immortalized until we delete them. Isn't that something? So as long as the internet is in existence and YouTube is in existence, then my videos will be in existence. And you, if you make videos, your videos will be in existence. Did you ever think about that? I thought about that. What made me think about that the other day was I was watching an old episode of Gunsmoke. You remember Gunsmoke? And um, they were just introducing photography and that old fashioned box and they would have the chemicals and then they would click the little button and don't ask me how the chemicals exploded, but I that part I haven't ever looked up to see. How did, how, what did the clicking of the button have to do with the chemical thing he was holding in his hand because you didn't see any string attached, cord attached, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, but then they said that that was going to immortalize you having your picture made. So when you're dead and gone, your pictures are around. thought now today it's more digital pictures than printing pictures we do print look at all this we print all you know our digital things for the crafting but we don't uh, do much as far as printing our pictures out anymore okay so here we go all right okay now how do we want to do this? The rose is just climbing up. Do we want to have it on an angle? Do I want it straight? This is this is where I was. I kept getting, you know, but I think I'll just go right here. And I'm thinking. Let me see. I thought I had. Where are they? All right. I'll just have to use these. I wanted the bigger, fatter. sticky things, but I don't find my bigger, fatter, sticky things. Oh, here they are. Aha, they slid down. This is what I want. Okay, so turn it over, and then we're going to take one of these, and we're going to put it right here. And we're just going to go straight down the middle. see. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like it. I like it very much. Okay, so do we want to put it this way? Kind of like it like that now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to peel this off. And then I'll open it up and show you what I did on the inside and how you put this baby all together. All right, now. Because it's a little bit tricky on the inside. But it's much easier than sewing. Okay. All right, so these two, this is straight up the center. Okay, oh, voila, isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous, gorgeousness, absolute gorgeousness. A little smidgen of glue, it's trying to take up residence right there somehow, I don't know. 
All right, now this is the inside. Okay, keep in mind, I didn't cover this yet. I will be covering it. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna use up all these botanicals on the inside. Ta-da! So I used brads. So the back cover will lay flat. The front cover will lay flat. Then when you turn your pages, now on this particular page, because I have two pieces of cardstock and the altered index card in the middle. So I mean, this is very stiff. So you're not gonna be able to score that and get it to fold. I mean, just ain't gonna happen. So, but because it's the first page, which I could have put it as the last page as well, it will fold over flat. Okay, but now your other pages, you have to score them here. So this is what I did. This is a little trick I did. Keep in mind, this is cardstock. If you use just like say two pieces of paper, glued them together to give some kind of you know stability, then this would fold over really, really easily. But you're just gonna use this back edge of the cardstock as your guide, and you see how the little brads fold over. And when I put the paper here, then that's gonna cover all that up. And I can just put a strip down this to cover it up and then just put a separate piece here. So you just use your th thumb, back of your thumbnail and just keep the paper here and then crease it over and then take your bone folder and crease it out like that. Now it lays flat, see? And then you do the same thing with the next one and you crease it with the bone folder and you do the same thing with the next one. This one here, I got a little bit off down here on this side so I had to do it a couple times. So there you go. And now it's just lays perfectly flat so your journal will lay perfectly flat. And then this one, if it would have been just one sheet of cardstock instead of three, <laughs> it would lay much flatter. Okay, so there you go. So isn't that cool? So just brads is all you need. Your front cover with a little bit of a half an inch uh, border here for the fold. And then you just decorate the cover inside cover, have your pages, you decorate the pages, same exact thing you would do in any journal, but it's just a different way, it's easier using brads. I could have used three brads, but I didn't see a reason for that. And then your back page is again, so I can decorate this any way I want, or I can just leave it like that. So I'm thinking that that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna keep this in my giveaway stash and it may go in for a giveaway for our junk journal, junk journal junction Facebook group members. We do a giveaway twice uh, every month and two members, I give a gift to one and Linda gives a gift to the other. So I do the drawing for that every month. And um, it's just participation in the group. And so it's real, real easy, no pressure. Um, and then here on my channel, every time I reach 100 subscribers, then I do a giveaway of, and I change whatever the prize is all the time. So you don't ever know what I'm going to give and what it might be. So, but this is pretty cool. So here's the belly band here. So I'm going to make a tag journaling card to go in there. And then I'm going to have some pockets over here. And I found my postcards that I had purchased from one of the members of our group. And I'm thinking I might use those. It's laminated on one side all I have to do is cut around it and then I can put make a pocket and slip it in here it's a little bit too wide to go into this belly band and then um, so I have three pages to decorate and make it beautiful so this top page I'm just gonna have like a little pocket to put things in back here I'm gonna just put some kind of a maybe one of those decorative pages in just for writing on it here. So pockets on this side, writing on this side, pocket writing, and then back here, cover this all up, and then I'll probably put some pockets back here, tuck spots back here, the same thing on this. Okay, so look at how easy this was, how beautiful it turned out. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you again for being here with me, and if you like the video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And now, let's get our little list of what we're working on out, so that I can tell you what we're going to make in the next video. So I, I'm, I'm very organized now. <laughs> very proud of myself. And of course, it's in the afternoon, late in the afternoon, so the sun is now 
setting in the west, which my window faces the west, so we get this nice bright stream of sunshine coming in the window. All right, now let's take a look here. So today is March 20, 31st, 2021. We did the altered index card. Yay! And then you got you got two videos and one today, actually. So we did the altered index card, and it went in as a page in this beautiful no so binder journal. Absolutely gorgeous. So whatever you want to call it, that's what it is. So a no so. So I hope you enjoyed this, and all the members from the Facebook group, I hope you enjoyed it. We were talking about that today. Um, now we have. Let's do something very, very easy. Okay, so let's continue to work in this journal, decorating these pages. And I have not really focused a lot on corner pocket embellishments. And so we're going to do that. So we're going to make some corner pockets. So I'm going to cover this page with you on camera. We'll make a corner pocket here. And then we're going to do the same thing back here. We're going to cover this page and we're going to make a corner pocket here. How about that? Okay, so let's do that. So we'll continue to work in this journal, and then the embellishments that I'm going to have here will be on that. So right here, corner pockets. Tomorrow is April 1st, so we're going to put that right here, and then put a check mark here. This one was completed. Okay, so there we have it. So now stay tuned for tomorrow, corner pocket embellishments in your journal. All right, thank you for being here. Keep creating in the sunshine, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.